Hi, this is Alyssa, and this is my presentation on cabbage. So the basics. The title is, Will Adding Different Amounts of Cabbage Change the Level of pH? My research question. How will adding more amounts of cabbage affect the pH levels? Hypothesis. Adding more cabbage to the water will decrease the pH levels. Background knowledge. pH levels are colors which are measured on a 14-level scale, and 7 is considered to be neutral. If a level is less than 7, it means that the color is an acid, while if it is greater than 7, it means that it is a base. Since in this experiment there will be lemon juice inside of the solutions, I do predict that the level should be under 7. The darker colors also have a pH level closer to 0, so the more cabbage that I put in should show a level closer to 0 if my hypothesis is correct. Variables. The independent variable is how many leaves of cabbage there are put into the water. And the dependent variable is the pH levels because the pH level will depend on the amount of cabbage put in. The controlled variables are the amount of water used per, like, per amount of cabbage and per test and the amount of lemon juice used. You could also count the amount of time on boiling as a controlled variable. So water is a controlled variable because since I'm going to be adding different amounts of cabbage in there, if results are shown to be different, we need to know that the cabbage, uh, that adding different amounts of cabbage is what is causing these results and not the different amounts of water. So water has to stay consistent. And this is the same with the amount of lemon juice used. Materials needed. One pot of any size, one juice of a lemon, and then one sixteenth of a cup will be put into each uh cup and then one cabbage and you'll prep it and cut it and all will be shown on how to do that in the next step and then three cups of water per test a spatula to stir the pot with four cups to store each of your mixtures as well as an oven mitt so you do not burn yourself the method so you're going to cut one cabbage up into equal size pieces be careful not to cut your sorry, be careful not to cut yourself with a knife. These pieces should be as equal as you can get them. Then you're going to cut one lemon into four slices. Once again, be careful with the knife. Then you're going to put a pot of water on the stove that has three cups of water in it. And you're going to put one piece of cabbage in there, like the ones that you cut up here, but you're going to slice it into much smaller pieces. They should be around um, any size you want, but they should be consistent for your four tests. Then you're going to boil this mixture for five minutes. Water will be very hot and so will the pot, so be sure not to touch it and put your hair up. After, pour the mixture into a cup, which is labeled one piece. And then pour, if there's any pieces of cabbage that get into the cup, take them out and throw them away. For the second test, put two pieces of cabbage in and they should be cut into pieces that are equal to the time of the size of your first test. And then you're gonna follow all the same steps and pour them into your cup labeled um, two pieces. And then you're gonna repeat this for the third test with three pieces of cabbage and the fourth test with four pieces. And then you're gonna add one slice of lemon juice, which should be 1 16th of a cup to every single one of these cups of the mixture. And you're gonna mix for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna test the pH for each cup and write it down. So this is my experiment. So over here in this photo, you can see that I am cutting up the cabbage into equal size pieces. This is me dicing the cabbage, uh, each piece of cabbage into even smaller pieces. Over here, it is there. Uh, this one piece of cabbage has been sliced up and put into a boiling pot of water. As you can see, the water is turning blue. Down here, this is after I've done my four tests. As you can see, the least amount of cabbage, this is task, uh, test one, shows the lightest color. And now I'm taking the lemon and I measured these out beforehand and they are 1 16th of a cup and I'm going to put them in each of the, each of the glasses. So once that happens, as you can see, these colors will turn pink or I guess you can consider this dark red for this one. And this basically will just change the color but not how dark it is. The results. So test one had one piece of cabbage and the pH level was uh, four. Test two had two pieces of cabbage and a three pH level. Test three had three pieces of cabbage and had a two pH level. And then test four had four pieces of cabbage and a pH level of one. They all had three cups of water and they all had one sixteenth of a cup of lemon juice. 
Down below is a graph, as you can see, on the y-axis are the levels of pH, and on the x-axis are the number of tests. As you can see, this is the line of best fit, and the graph name is amount of cabbage and their levels of pH. So observations that I made were that the more amount of cabbage that was put in, the lower that the pH level was because it was darker. So the more cabbage put in showed a darker cover overall. And then once lemon juice was added, the bluish water turned into a pinkish color. Conclusion and evaluation. As the independent variable increases, the dependent variable decreases. My results do support my research question as well as prove my hypothesis. I found that as I increased the amount of cabbage that I put into the water, the color of the water became darker, and when I added the lemon juice, the same thing happened. Then I tested the pH level and found that the darker colors had the lowest level of pH. One problem that I ran into. Some of the pieces of cabbage appear to be more purple than other. This could have been very significant because this could have caused the water to have a darker or lighter color than it should, than it should have, and not since not all the pieces were the same color. The solution that I could have done is that I should have only used pieces which looked very close to identical by inspecting all sides of the cabbage before use. We're excited. This is what I used in order to make my background, and all the other information here was gathered from a lecture from my teacher. Thank you.